Hi everyone. Um, well, as you can see on this on the sec on the second camera, I am I have continued work on the battery monitoring, and of course the uh, voltage output on the screen. Um, I took my uh, voltage uh, bench power, power supply up to my study because my computer is here, uh, because I had to get this working. And I found the issue. Um, well, it's working now, so I'll show you the result. So the low voltage is set to 3.3, uh, below 3.3, and critical, which I also took in, is 3.1. So if I turn now on the bench supply to 3. below 3.3, you'll see the orange LED turn on. And if I go way down, so I'll just put it up, you know, 3.10, and below it then says critical battery voltage, and it turns the red LED on. So that's what I wanted, and this also works with the computer disconnected. So it wasn't the USB interfering, it was a teeny tiny coding error. Well, I found that out by accident. I am I using a diff different sketch setup again, this time inspired by Adafruit, but the result will be the same in the other sketches. I'll re-upload the edited versions of those as well. So this is the new setup. Uh, the beginning is well the same, and I'll show you my error. I now define this as a float, which makes it compatible with decimal values. Before it was an integer, and it was not compatible with what I was using it for. So now it's I'm using something that's able to store a decimal value like the 3.0 3.3 and stuff like that the point five the point so the rest is just the same as in a different one just uh added it to work on my feather so it's it's using the internal reference setup as per my feather in all the versions of the code you can see the other ones with references to the sites i got them from so if you're not using a feather you can uh, find out from those how to uh, still use it because this is reference to a uh, M0 base or some 21 based uh, uh, Arduino. So you've got your pin setups and this is the Adafruit code can combined with this uh, VBAT pin A7, which I'll explain in a moment as well. So it just, it's a simple one. It does what the other ones did, you know, it, uh, because we they have two uh, 100K resistors on there, it's just a half voltage divider. So you just multiply it back by two uh, the reference voltage, yeah, it's still re commenting, this is out of which comment to 3.3, because, but because I have said it to use the internal reference, in my case I had to use a multiplier of 1.97 to get back to the correct voltage, and then divide it by 10,024 to get your voltage, uh, convert the voltage, and then this is just a serial output, and I'll probably convert this to one line as I did in another one, but I might not, it's not a big thing. And then the rest, like in the other ones, the uh, uh, the if statement that if the uh, measured the uh, measured v bat so the voltage from the battery is greater than or equal to low voltage so in this case 3.3 it uh, says the led says off if it if it is lower so else then the led indicating low battery voltage is turned high and turns on so that's the orange led turning off and on and the same thing here if it's critical voltage, if it's lower than the critical voltage setting, then the critical voltage LED turns on. I might not use this. I'm thinking about uh, resetting, about taking the critical LED out and recoding this in the future to use PWM uh, dimming. I believe that the port pin I'm using is compatible. I might have to use a different pin to connect the LED. But then I can use PWN to increase the brightness of the LED as the voltage drops further. So it is, but I, I might not. I might just keep two LEDs to keep it easy, or just one saying, telling me, hey, your battery is getting low at 3.2 volts, for instance, uh, time to uh, uh, find the charger. So to get back to voltage pin A7 and a different code. So I'll just take out my browser and you can see. So this is uh, the uh, learning guide for uh, the Feather M0, but they also have one for the basic Pro. It's, usually, it's mostly the same. This one has some other, it has some extra features. Great guides. I really must compliment the Adafruit on them. I read about the onboard voltage divider before, but I couldn't use it because pin nine here, 
that's uh, lighted, it's highlighted. It's, uh, oh, I just have to go up a little bit. Yeah, it's fine. Pin nine here is um, also used by the music maker. So the, the feather inside my disc, I can't use the voltage divider because, well, it's in use, the pin's in use by the music maker. So, eh. But now that I have a second board, I can make use of the onboard feature. And they were also referencing VBAT pin A7, as you can see here again. Well, that one is a different story, because this pin 9 is that VBAT pin. And I'll show you up, uh, up higher up what I mean. Oh, this is also the explanation from Arduino about the... Uh, about the... Uh, um, uh, the floating point uh, thing so if you go up there page and it should be around here yeah you'll get this one we just go original um, we have to be on the other side yeah am I is it in view yeah barely between the two screens as you can see on the board there is pin 9 and this is also analog input 7 or A7. So it's either digital pin 9 or analog pin 7. So that's the difference between the two. Um, so if you uh, then, oh, I have to go back to the guide. So that explains the uh, reference of A7. So it's either A7 or digital pin 9. Uh, I also did some modifications on the board and that's taking off the JSD connector which takes off too much space and I also took off the entire charging circuit because I'm not using it and I can use the parts later on so that was this capacitor, the charging chip itself, the setup uh, resistor, the resistor for the charging LED and the charging LED and knowing which ones to take off well thank you Adafruit for sharing the schematics so you can see here what all the different parts are and by using the board view also in the learning guide i could figure out okay those are these parts because this resistor connects to this chip here and that's the correct uh, uh, capacitor and i took those off to make it a uh, well, to use the parts and well save some uh, power consumption on the four feathers and be able to use those parts in the future because on the feather they're limited to 100 milliamps charging but if you look here this mcp which is a really nice chip if you use a 1k resistor you can use you can charge up until one amp so that's great so it's really versatile and i might just reuse it in a different project it's not being used on this feather anyway uh same as the jsd connector i did figure out i really need to get a hot air station in the future because taking this stuff off with wick and a flux and stuff it's a bitch but uh, I got it off neatly, uh, I'll post a picture uh, either at the end of this video or on my Instagram later. So that's all, that's it about the voltage, uh, voltage meter slash battery indicator. It's working and well, up to the next thing. See you soon. Oh, and uh, if you like the video, please like it and subscribe if you want to see more of this stuff. And well, again, until the next one, bye bye.